Hi, everybody, and welcome. My name is Teacher Ken, but you can just call me TK. Today, we're going to be learning about the magazine called Buggy Bugs. Let's start with the word bug. Everybody, please say that along with me. Bug. Good. Can you guys tell me how do we say bug in Chinese? Chong. That's good. Now, does anybody know another word for bug? Go ahead and raise your hand if you know a word. Uh, yeah, Ryan, go ahead. What's another word for bug? That's right. Another word for bug is insect. Everyone say with me, insect. Now, these words are very close, but they're not quite the same. All insects are bugs, but not all bugs are insects. How do we say insect in Chinese? In Chinese, we say Quan Chong. All right, everybody, let's find out a little bit more about insects. We're going to open up my YouTube and I'm going to put in here my search. Let's see, my search words are what is an insect? You can look this up on YouTube as well. These are some good search words. Let's check out what is an insect. Let's take a look at some of the things that insects have in common. First, their bodies are made up of three sections. Oh, right. That was a cool video. So let's go over what makes an insect. And boys and girls, I need you guys to stand up and do these actions along with me. So everybody, come on and let's stand up. Move my chair off to the side and everybody say with me. One, two, three. Insects' bodies have three parts. Insects' bodies have three parts. Good. Now show me your legs and say, insects have six legs. Insects have six legs. Very good. And show me your antenna and say, all insects have antenna on their heads. All insects have antenna on their heads. Show me some funny eyes like this and say, insects have special eyes. Oh, those are good eyes. And everybody show me your wings and say, some insects have wings. Now everybody fly! <laughs> All right, boys and girls, it's time to do some bug and insect brainstorming. Now, boys and girls, I want you to tell me all the bug words you know. When you know a word, please raise your hand. Tommy, what do you have? A oh, beetle, beetle. Good. What else do we have? Annie, very good, a spider, that's a bug spider, very good. Tom, what's another one? A worm, yeah, that's a bug, a worm. We can call that a bug because it's a creepy crawly worm. And uh, Susie, what's another Wait. bug? Butterfly, you can't forget your butterfly. Everybody show me your butterflies and flap it around like this. Take your thumbs, put them together, and flap your butterflies. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Good. Butterfly. Very good. Okay, let's find the next story we're going to read. On our contents page, let's take a look inside the brackets here. Our next article is a journal. Can you say that with me? Journal. And can you tell me how do we say journal in Chinese? Zhi zhi. Very good. So a journal is something that we can use to take notes about something that we're observing. So when we observe something, we can observe it for a couple of minutes or for a very long time and write it down in our journal. Now, let's start with a small period of time. Let's start with a second. I want to ask you, what is longer than a second? Hands up if you know what is longer than a second. Tom, what's longer than a second? That's right, a minute. 
a minute is longer than a second. So you may be observing something for many minutes in your journal. But our next question is, what is longer than a minute? Hands up if you know. Alice, what's longer than a minute? An hour is longer than a minute. We Welcome to Buggy Bugs Magazine. We are going to read this all together. So let's bring it up nice and big. Open up your books and boys and girls, let's read together. Ready, go. Bugs jump, fly, or crawl. Some bugs have eight eyes. Others cannot see at all. We're going to find out how a butterfly grows. So let's go over these articles one at a time, starting with this one. Before we do it, let's check out our new words. Everybody, please circle in your book the word butterfly. And let's break this word up a little bit. Everybody, sound it out with me. Say but t er fly butterfly. And how do we say butterfly in Chinese? Hu die. Now, we're going to read this a little bit differently. If you see your video spotlighted, you're going to read one sentence for us. So watch and see if you see your spotlight. Let's see who's first. Ah, Peter is first. Peter, can you read the first line for us? Now, Jill. And Bella. That was excellent. Our next section is right here. All right, let's check out our new words first. Everybody circle the word hatches. Very good. And say with me, hatch. In Chinese, that is fuchu. Boys and girls, do people hatch from eggs? <laughs> no, they don't. So I want to ask you, what does hatch from an egg? Let's bring up our sentence. Our question says, which animals hatch from eggs? Eggs. Now, Zeli, Nikai Yong Dan Su, Hosa Fu Su. So we can use a singular or a plural. We can use it as one and say, an insect hatches from an egg, Ho Ni Kai Yong Fu Su, and say, insects hatch from eggs. Both of them are fine. So, Boys and girls, please put up your hand and let's see if you know some animals that hatch from eggs. What do you have? Yeah, John, what do you think? Chickens hatch from eggs. Very good. And who's next? Uh, Tony. A snake hatches from an egg. Very good. Let's see what else we have. Boys and girls, we've done a good job reading all of these. Now, let's mix them up a little bit. I want to know if you can tell me the order that these go in for a caterpillar or a larva to become a butterfly. Yeah, John, what letter? M. Yes, it is. M is the first one. We're talking about our butterfly. So everybody, we're going to put an M up here in the first line. And who can tell me what was next in the order? Sure thing. Susie, what do you think? A? Let's see. Yes, it was A. That's right. S is the last one. So let's write that in the last box right over here. Very good. Now, can you guys sound this word out for us? What does it say? Now, a mantis has nothing to do with a butterfly, but it is a bug. This is the praying mantis, and it is a very fierce bug. Let's turn the page and go over to our article, which is the bug club. You might see that you all have one of these inside your books. One of the sides has got everything good about it. True, positive, yes, good, awesome. And the other side is red for bad, negative, false. I'm going to go and read for you inside the book. After I read inside the book, I'm going to tell you something about what we read. Then I want you to hold up and tell me if it is true or if it is false. 
I'm going to read this for you and I want you to follow along. So please take your finger and put your finger on the words that we're reading. Put your finger on the word today. And let's read together. Today, we saw a ladybug. It crawled right onto my hand. It tickled. I counted eight spots. Max says ladybugs are a kind of beetle. I think ladybugs are nice for bugs. Good. Now, let me read a sentence and see if you know if it's true or false. Here we go. The bug that crawled into his hand was a ladybug. Boys and girls, is that true or false? Everybody, go ahead and hold up your fan. What do you think? The bug that crawled onto his hand was a ladybug. Is that true or false? Very good. That is true. I saw lots of green up there. So which sentence here told us that this was true? Ah, here it says, today we saw a ladybug. It crawled right onto my hand. Boys and girls, we're going to take a look at a ladybug here. And I want to know if you can count its spots. Tell me, how many spots does it have? Here we go. Count them all. Okay, get them. Do you got it? Okay, it's going to go away any second now. Oh, it's gone. Our answer is the ladybug had 12 spots. Is that true or false? Hold it up. True or false? What's your answer? Please count along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It had seven spots. So was that true or false that it had 12 spots? False. I see a new word. Let's circle it. It says bunch. Circle that inside your book and Let's sound it out. Bunch. How do we say bunch in Chinese? Hando. Let's find some funny videos about a bunch. Lisa, I've got a big bunch of black bananas. What a bunch of crybabies. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch. Pushed a bunch of buttons. Okie dokie, thanks a bunch of bunch of wigs. Actually, I've got a bunch of questions. Maybe. A bunch. A bunch of dogs. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts.